When we look at a problem or challenge, each of us looks at it from their personal point of view. And this personal point of view can be based on facts, on assumptions or previous experiences. There is often no right or wrong, it is just the way you see it. This point of view is subject to change. Over time, you will get new experiences that you can use to get even better ideas. You can compare it with the backpack that you carry with you along the design thinking process. Every time you learn something new, you put it in your backpack for later use. Then we also have the team point of view. Within a team, everybody will look at the same problem from a different angle. This is exactly why we have multidisciplinary teams. An engineer will look at a problem differently than a nurse or a designer. However, as a team, we want to have a consensus on what the problem is that we are trying to solve. And this is why we use a team point of view. It consists of a user, a need and a surprising insight. For example, a young teenager needs a way to find the safest cycling route because otherwise his parents won't let him leave on his bike. This team point of view can change as well, because during the design thinking process you will get new insights, new needs and new customer segments. Then finally we have the external point of view, which we often call a vision. It explains why you want to solve this problem and how you want to solve this problem. And it is the thing that you will communicate externally, for example on your web page, to your customers and even to your investors. Don't be afraid to be bold and visionary, because after all, a vision is a couple of years work and not only a couple of months.